People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. They end up using more water. I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that so that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. A windmill anywhere near your house, congratulations. Your house just went down 75 percent in value. And they say the noise causes cancer. You tell me that one, okay? Thinks that windmills cause cancer. Um, no, to be more specific, Anna, wow, wow, the noise from the windmill causes cancer. Everybody knows that. By the way, the real reason he spits that windmills is because there's some windmills next to a golf course he owns, which he thinks lower the value of it. But he's now convinced himself that the noise from the windmills cause cancer. Buddy with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. And I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that, too. Sounds interesting. We'll the right, folks who could. right. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that so that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. And so we'll see. But the whole concept of the light, the way it kills it in one minute, that's, uh, that's pretty powerful. Some experts say that this could be dangerous. No. Oh my God. No. Oh my God. It's not oh some experts. <laughs> oh my God. It's all experts. Oh my God. It's all experts. If you drink Clorox or Lysol, you will die. Don't do that. Don't, under any circumstances, do that. Do not inject it. Do not drink it. Do not consume it. Uh, and it's not, And the fact that mainstream media, for a long time, finally, I think this has kind of broken the camel's back a little bit. We'll get to that in a second. But even, including this morning, like, I don't want to offend Republicans. I mean, I'll make it a 50-50 issue because I want political correctness rather than medical correctness and factual correctness. No, it's not some experts. It's all experts. And second only, guys, we had the courage to say that Donald Trump is stupid. Now you say, well, Jang, everybody says that now. They didn't say it on day one. They didn't even say it three years in. Most of mainstream media still doesn't say it. They're still having a nonsense debate about, well, I mean, what's the strategy behind this? Is this actually a strategy to do uh, distractions? And you know what, Andy, the way that he's played was based. No, no, moron of epic proportions. The situation where we're looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms where uh, you turn the faucet on in areas where there's tremendous amounts of water, where the water rushes out to sea because you could never handle it. And you don't get any water. You turn on the faucet, you don't get any water. They take a shower and water comes dripping out. It's dripping out very quietly, dripping out. Why is he talking about his bathroom problems? And it turns out it's because officials were going to Trump and saying, stop clogging up the toilets with the evidence you're trying to get rid of, okay? And so that's it's on at the top of his mind, even though none of us know it at the time when he was president. It's top of mind for him because officials are constantly telling him, stop flushing down national documents in the toilet. So he comes out in the middle of a crutch and you know, the toilets, it's got a problem, it's got a problem. You moron, why did you bother saying that publicly? Now it's obvious that that's what you were doing.